What up, dudes? TGIF, finally Friday. Heading back down to Chautauqua Lake. Gonna meet up with Paul here in a bit. Gonna hit up the bell tower one more time. Fishing was pretty decent the other day, so we're gonna head back and uh, see if we can put the smack down on him again. But anyway, we'll be, uh, like I said, we're about 30 minutes away, so we'll see you at the ice and rock on. I've never gotten cold in our hut, but it ain't insulated like yours. But. Well, want me to bring my heater too? I got, we got a heater. I think I got two heaters, to be honest with you. Oh, I think. I got extra propane too. We got all kinds of, I think we got, we should have everything. I mean, <laughs> oh, I was like, Might as well take, take the waxies out. They didn't have any shiners. Holy crap, dude. How many did you get? Like, that's insane. I told them two dozen. Oh, my God. But I'm sure I'll fish tomorrow, too. I mean. Yeah, I hope so. Isn't that, that's enough for... <laughs> I was going to tell you not to get any because I thought this was going to be enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. It probably would be. Jacket. This, I got these nice gloves from Dennis Osinski. Thank you, Dennis. Rock. deeper. This is going to be a mess with this, with this friggin' slush. That's our freaking keeper. Gotta love that. Freaking dandy right there. That's better than anything that we caught all day the other day. Mm, that's nice. I'm gonna give him a little chin music. <laughs> well, guess what, buddy? My pliers. You're going home anyway, pal, so. Nice. Alright, well, here we go. That's how we start right there. Yesterday. Oh Jesus, dude! I mean, just his last night. You know, he laid. He went home, he laid right down, and I was like, "Oh boy!" Instantaneous on the drop. Oh, shit, that's a nice one too. I'll keep that one. Feels like a decent fish too. Halfway decent. No offense, Amber, but this could be an amber keeper. <laughs> An amber keeper. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll put you in, Amber. There was compassion right there. I sh probably should have kept that one. Oh, missed him. Would have took his lower jaw off, but hey, if you're gonna set it, pull the gills out all in one shot. Yeah, I mean, set it big. Oh, I'm so oh. I am brutal. 
I've come to the conclusion I'm just really not that good of a fisherman. I miss way more than I catch. And no comments for all you guys watching this. <laughs> Oh, got him. Oh, it's a good one, too. Oh, heck yeah, it is. It's freaking sweet, brother. That's what I'm talking about right there. I ain't caught three keeper perch in the last four or five times out. And we've been here 15 minutes. Yeah. Approximately. What do you got? What do you got? Uh, is it like a jigging spoon? What is that? It is a... I think you want to call it a jigging spoon. It's a looks like it's a tiny little oh, nice. green and white. Uh, it's not like a spoon though. It's kind of like a little yeah. Thing. It's not kind of cave like a spoon. Oh damn, my middle fell. Uh, I just think that you know for whatever green and white seems to work uh, the best for me. It pops up. Oh, there's one. Oh, we're pulling drag. Uh, it doesn't feel like a good fish. Yeah, I mean, not horrible. Um, but yeah, it was it was really weird. So I'm like, after I fought with it for like an hour, I was like, forget it. I just deleted all the, the clips. I mean, it wasn't. Would have been nice to get the sunrise and the. Yeah. Because it was like a brilliant, beautiful sunrise. Yeah, it was actually nice that day. You should have saw it when we were here the one time with Scott was here. You know, we had some keepers, and uh, you know, tossed them on the outside or whatever. And the freaking, I mean, they're, they're literally a foot away from the hut. A crow came in right over and just was pounding the hell out of Scott's freaking keeper, his fish. He looked out the window and he's like, and the thing took off and goes over there and the freaking fish has got freaking beak marks all over it. Like, what the heck? Ooh, there's one. I, I gotta tighten my drag up a little. I lead the lumber to him. <laughs> <laughs> The typical, this is your typical Chautauqua Lake perch right here. Mm -hmm. It's like, just not, hold the freak still. I mean, decent. Oh, not a graceful release. It's a nice perch, but. It's like one class off. Yeah. Like if it's, if it's just, I, I mean, if it had girth, I'd probably keep it, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't. <laughs> If it was a couple inches longer, yeah, then you yeah. then you're keeping it. Yeah. Well, this one feels a little better. Yeah, this is definitely a better fish. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this one is That's a nice one. Yeah, we're gonna keep this guy. Look at that. There's tons of something moving. Out. Oh yeah, there's tons of fish right down on the bottom now too. Uh, yep. Mm, I guess you're gonna go in between your feet. Oh man, hit it once. Come on, just a little more. Hit it one more time. Gotcha. This one don't feel horrible. Oh, yeah. Yep, now I'm gonna take them home too. I figure what the heck, you know, if you're already cutting fish, that one's that one's at least fat. He's it's bigger than one of these. We'll take him. Come on. Gotcha. There he is. Another tell, little guy. The telltale zip. <laughs> Zing! Of the drag. Uh, he inhaled it, and guess what? There's your middle. <laughs> Evidently, he was hungry. See a bud? Oh, maybe. Come on, you can do it. There you go. There you go. Down the hole. Yep. And just like that. That is what we're looking for. That is a keeper all day, brother. That's a freaking slammer. Uh, 
Her dog was like that the other day. Every it was like go, go out and then. There it is. Yeah, that's a little guy. <laughs> it's like, dude, how'd you get that minnow in your mouth? But I'm proud of you. I mean, honestly, no joke. I fish bait smaller, bigger than this. Down the hole. Come on. Downward. There you go. Oh, there it is. Oh. This one. A good one. Yeah, it looks like a freaking good. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. What the frig? That is a. That's Andy. a that is a freaking slammer, freaking perch. Uh, are we fishing in Lake Erie? I mean, come on. Toss that baby up here for the camera. Oh boy. Well, he, oh Jesus, he, my minnow just ripped into that. Dude, that's a for for the Chautauqua Lake, dude. That is a freaking tank. Put your gills down. You ain't pressing nobody. Yeah. <laughs> freaking sweet, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. Dude, that sounds like shit, dude. That's a freaking tank again. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, a little self-release. There you go. I'm getting into it. Oh, this is a little better fish. Not a keeper, but compared to what has been coming. Oh, that was my minnow. See ya, bud. We're looking for, a, we're targeting a specific fish now. One that's got a jigging wrap in its mouth. Or a jigging spoon of some sort. Probably got 10 feet of line. I don't know. Five feet of line with it. Yeah, maybe we'll just snag a line. I got, how about the one I got on? What is that? Dude, what is this? I got the jig and wrap. I'm like, what? I'm like, what is this? I'm like, why does this feel so weird? Hold the pails open on the jig and wrap. Uh. <laughs> Anybody watching this are going, what in the? This is a comedy act right here. What are these assholes doing? I'll give you a lesson right here on how not to retie a jig. Yeah. How not to do it. We got one in the mouth. One in the mouth. I don't want to lose that thing. And we got one in the sleeve. <clears throat> one in the sleeve. I got a minnow in my hand that's going on this hook. And... In this whole time, we are marking fish. Yeah, we're marking fish. My minnow. <sighs> This feels like a better fish. I thought I honestly I figured I had your line. Oh yeah. That's a nicer yeah, fish. We're gonna keep it. Yep. We keep this guy. It was at this point. Look at that. It's a fat yeah, one. Yeah, look at how fat and tall he is. Damn. Gotta be a little dink fish just. Sometimes you just gotta let them know who's boss. <laughs> a little squash. Yeah. I knew it was just you just barely just tapping it. Tap, 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 tap. Like Happy Gilmore would say, tap, tap, tap a room. That thing hit it hard, man. Oh yeah, that's a keeper right there. <laughs> fat head again. On the fat head. On another one on the fat head. Oh. <laughs> and another one on the There's a minnow. This is a smaller fish. So, yeah. Ooh, just keep our heater a little dose. I can't see the damn thing. There we go. Maybe it's just a I had to see a little different bait, you know? Yeah, something. Let's see, we're marking. And there he is. Feels like a small one. And guess what? It is a small one. Hey, bud. 
Hey, bud, easy. You're going back to the bottom. Come on. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a fish right there. Oh, yeah. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. Do it. Come on. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. No, do it. <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's on Netflix. I watch it. I just figured die laughing. The key is not to pop it. You know, push it down to the next precinct. <laughs> floater. Nothing harder to solve than a floater. Wallet. <laughs> Absolutely no money at all. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing in it. He stuffed some lava cash in his pocket. <laughs> Found a wallet, <laughs> nothing in it. <laughs> okay guys, I think we're gonna end this video right here. Um, probably got a good 20 keepers on the ice. I mean, freaking sweet afternoon. Weather is supposed to turn nasty. They just called for a winter storm morning at six o'clock. I don't know what time it is now, probably close to three o'clock. So we got a little bit of time, but um, thanks for spending your afternoon with us. Thanks for watching Hunter's Creek Outdoors. Do us a favor, hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Um, also hit the bell if you want to be notified every time we post. I know we got a bunch of videos coming, so hit the notification. You'll be the first to know. And hey, any last words? Hey, man, we're going to be clean the first tonight, so uh, better call the wife. Sharpen the knife. <laughs> Sharpen the knife. <laughs> Next stop, the grease bath. Grease bath. Are you serious right now? Loins.